Right, so in this first part of the video, I just wanted to show what I'd done with the base of Dungeon Defense. So this is actually the September version of the UDK, and it's only really meant to work in the December and January versions. So if you run the game, you can see it's got a modified character, it's all modified with mouse aim, and there's an enemy spawn, and it doesn't look very much like the original and real. So that's kind of what um, the base kind of dungeon defense looks like in a September build. Which obviously it's not exactly what I want, but I only really want the kind of enemy spawning from that. So I, I took that a bit further and modified it myself. So from the base of dungeon defense, I've modified it so that basically you can get a lot of the functionality of Unreal. Uh, within the kind of also the base code of the enemy spawning. So if we just play that, it now almost looks fairly similar to what you would find in a stock and real build, apart from the camera is slightly different. Uh, you've got all of the scale form HUD, as you can see, representing the health and the ammo, uh, which is quite a challenge to get working with a, a whole custom game mode on it. And as you can see, I've got custom enemies which are kind of very zombie like, they can only melee attack you. Um, and they're custom AI and obviously you can shoot at them like that and now they don't spawn the, the mono tokens that they used to spawn before but you've got the AI there, the zombie AI uh, attached to the character's head is a rain emitter so it kind of looks like you've got rain around you as well as um, there's a fog volume around with a, a moving rain effect on it which gives this kind of illusion that there's a lot of rain everywhere. Uh, one of the second characters, which is a bit through the floor there at the moment, is a uh, an archer. And I'll just let these guys attack me just to show that they've got a melee attack. But yeah, this guy normally works properly. Uh, you can see it's just a standard uh, dungeon defense AI that I've just set to work in this whole kind of environment here. And as you can see, I've kind of got lightning effects, a moon, you know, it all looks better in motion. I'm probably going to edit the lightning, as you can see, because sometimes it's not particularly great. But it's just a kind of proof of concept at the moment. And I'm just running to the kind of water area just to show you the water that I've got going on in it. So you can see, it's just kind of a a fluid actor and it reacts when you shoot it. So it's fairly simple, it's got its own post-process volume as well. So it's got all these kind of features towards it just to kind of set the mood really at the moment. It's all very work in progress but I'll get some more actual art going on but I've been mainly focusing on kind of getting a bit of gameplay created within that. <laughs> 